Hi, this is Naomi DeVito with Geek Power Squad. And this is Israel. Uh, we just came out of seeing Iron Man 3, and it was an amazing movie. Yeah, it was a very good film, better than the first one, definitely better than the second one. Uh, they do only have like one small complaint with it, but it can be overlooked because of... Uh, yeah, as well, a hardcore comic book fan and lover of Iron Man the comic books, it is kind of a little disappointing. Uh, some things as a comic book fan view of... Um, What's his name? Mandarin? The Mandarin? Yeah, the Mandarin. I mean, yeah. That one's funny thing. If, this, if you think it's kind of a spoiler, then don't watch it. But it seemed to me that, in my opinion, that they built him up in the trailers as a main villain just to turn him into a joke. I mean, it was funny the way yeah. everything turns out. It is not expected. And I know that it might be racist from how the Mandarin is a comic book to... Yeah, yeah, exactly, but... To bring him into this thing and they're trying to memorize it. But still, it's kind of a little... It is somewhat disappointing as, as, as we both grew up reading Iron Man, we both grew up with the comics. It is kind of disappointing in that part, but as I said, it is funny, it is unexpected. And I did like the if you read Extremis, I did like the way they changed yeah. Aldrin's fate. Um, yeah, well, okay, my pronunciation is bad, it's cold. Um, if you know you know the comic book, you know what happens in the comic book. But I think he was a very good villain for this film. And then I have to say that this film felt exactly like I was reading a comic yes, book. Yes, I felt like, very comic book like. Yeah. It's, some of the scenes were exactly the comic book. I mean, even though the little things were changed, I understand that they have to make it to where like it's in the real world. So, yeah, it was pretty amazing. Even though this felt like it was the end of Iron Man. Yeah, it did. It uh, sad. One more thing. Then. One more point in the comic book part. The end credits were awesome. Oh, yeah. They were very... <laughs> yeah. We're not going to ruin them, but we just said they were very... Retro 1960s yeah, comic. Yeah. Um, it was really, really awesome. But yeah, it did feel like an end, and I'm sure if you read that, uh, that uh, interview with Gwyneth Paltrow, she said something to the effect that they're finished with Iron Man, that she doesn't think there'll be another Iron, an Iron Man 4. And if that's the case, and this is a very good ending for it, but. I really hope there is, but. Yeah, we hope there is. Um, regarding the ending of the film, we're not going to ruin it, but the way they end it, it makes me very interested to see how they're yeah. going to continue on if there is a fourth film. Or with the Avengers 2 or any other Phase 2. And don't forget to stay after credits. I mean, some people just left and you're like, don't do that. Yeah. Because uh, somebody pops up for the end credits. It's really awesome if you haven't read about it already yeah. or found out already. And you want to see it because it's funny. And yeah, it's awesome. You might be a bit surprised that he pops up in there, but we're not going to say who it is. Um, other point, Pepper. I love what they do with her at the end. Uh, no matter what, but she gets badass in the yeah. end. There's going to be a lot of those kinds of things. Yeah. But we're not going to say what it is or how it is. You're going to have to feel about uh, yourself. Yeah, I was hoping for a rescue thing, but I just said, kind of like the way it took her. Yeah, they kind of disappointed me that it was super rescue. Yeah, I know. Even though it's kind of interesting what they did with her. Though. Yeah, it is interesting, but again. To not trying to spoil it. Yeah, we're not sure that she kept what happens. Yeah. Because of how the end, the end's yeah, kind of jumbled. Yeah, we can't figure out. God, I but, almost said it. Like, don't. Yeah, <laughs> but it's very interesting, and I'm pretty sure most people will like really, it. Really yeah, as really excited. Yeah. Film, it's a good start up for phase two. That's all I'll say. Definitely, good, good start for yeah, phase we'll two. We better wrap this up because it's starting to get cold. Yeah, yeah already the theater's already cold, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. So, um, hopefully, you enjoy this review. Hope it's informative. Hopefully, it makes you want to go see Iron Man 3. As I said, it's a good movie. Just that one point is disappointing. It might, might be disappointing for other comic book fans, but it might not be. Yeah. It is bearable, though. So. Yeah, and then you gotta understand that they're trying to put stuff in this world. But. Yeah, it is modernized. And, oh, quick point out. The ten rings from the first one do pop up in a way, but not the way you're expecting. You'll see what I mean when you finally see the whole film. Um, anything else to say? No, but that, that was really, really amazing. Yes, yeah, so until then, see you at our next review, which hopefully should be searching the darkness yeah. in two, to, two weeks, actually. So, see you then. See you then.